What is up guys? This is the God the Kitten and today we are back with our Gothic 2 Let's Play. So last time we talked to a bunch of the people that are like the trades people and market people and all that stuff. But we kind of need a bit because I want to wait like sleep till morning. I don't know if there's like any bit spare around here because it's really dark in this game right now. But I'm afraid that we're gonna have to go to the uh, the inn that they told us about, which is right here across the barracks, as Lord or well, the Paladin. Ah, customer, what can I do for you? The Paladin told us that we can stay here free of charge. But I do have a few questions about the city, considering your inn's very bright. I have a few questions about the city. <laughs> There's nothing you can do about it. Um... Who says things like that? Where can I buy something around here? Where can I buy something around here? The market is directly in front of the door. You should be able to find everything there. There are a few more shops and craftsmen on the other side of town. Most of them are near the other city gate. Also, there's a fishmonger in the harbor district. His shop is right at the harbor. He's easy to find. Tell me about the town. Carinus is one of the wealthiest cities within the kingdom, even if it doesn't look like it at the moment. But since the Orc War started, trade has almost come to a complete standstill. The king has requisitioned the entire merchant fleet for military service, which means that hardly any ships come into the harbor now. So, the supply of goods is very scarce now, and many citizens of the town are very worried. Nobody really knows what the future will bring. There's basically nothing we can do but wait and see what happens. It's not like we can change anything. I'm looking for a room. Ah, you're in the right place then. One of the paladins told me that I could spend the night here for free. Yes, yes. Just go up the stairs. We still have one or two beds free. Why do the paladins pay for everything? I don't know what that's all about either. For one thing, I think they want to get all the poor suckers off the streets so they don't make any mischief. And for another, they want to get on the good side of the traveling traders. Now that the farmers are rebelling, we have to rely on the traders for provisions. Besides, I think they want to improve the morale in the city a bit. Lord Andre has even arranged for free beer to be given out at the Gala Square. Who's staying here at the moment? Almost all of them are traveling traders from the market. Aha! Don't even think about messing with their stuff. I don't want any trouble here. Well, I mean, nobody said I was going to make trouble. Ugh, damn it. What do you want? I want nothing. I was still so far away from your bed. Apparently we sleep in late because everybody's already gone again. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, we still had two, um, I guess they are merchants to talk to. And then we can see into doing some of their quests, talking to all of the other people around. Current is going to be a couple of videos, I'm sure. Okay, the blacksmith. There's two. We'll hey, talk to you. new in the city, huh? I'm Brian. I'm Master Harrod's apprentice. Okay. What's it like to be the smith's apprentice? Why do you ask? You want to be my successor? Maybe. Why not? I'm almost done with my apprenticeship, and then I'm going to leave the city. But not because of Harrod. He is a good master. I have learned a lot from him. Why do you want to leave this town? Because the people here are getting on my nerves above all the other masters. I still remember what a fuss it was getting accepted as an apprentice with Harrod. Really, every one of them jokers had something to say about it. I want to decide for myself who I can or can't take as an apprentice. 
Fair enough. Who are the other masters? Well, there's Thorpin the Carpenter, Bosper the Bowmaker, Constantino the Alchemist, and Matteo. He sells armor, but first of all, he's a merchant. All the masters have their houses here on the street. And Constantino's shop is in the underpass to the temple. Tell me more about Master Harad. He's not in a very good mood right now. A few days ago, the paladins came and ordered him to forge some swords for them. They've even forbidden him to sell swords to anyone else. Now he slaves day and night to finish the job as quickly as possible. That is not fair. Can I buy weapons from you? Not really. I'm merely an assistant. The weapons that are made in this smithy are collected by the militia and taken to the towers where they're stored. But if it has anything to do with forging, maybe I can help you. What can I get from you? I can sell you some steel billets. You can sell us two raw steel, but we're gonna... We don't need that. Bye, Brian. <laughs> you know that he's not allowed to. You can be evil, but... And we will, probably. I'm looking for work. Hmm. I could use a new apprentice. Brian will have finished his apprenticeship soon, and then he'll leave the city. Are you good for anything? If you mean, do I know blacksmith's work? No, that's not what I meant. Sooner or later, the orcs are going to lay siege to the city. And then the only men who will count will be those who are in a position to defend our city. And I won't take on anyone as an apprentice who will disgrace me by fleeing the city with the women and the good-for-nothings, instead of holding the fort here with the men. I'm not a good-for-nothing. Those are big words. Can you back them up with big deeds? What are you getting at? Bring me an orc's weapon. Orcs have been seen near the city. With a bit of luck, you won't have to search for long. If you manage to bring one down, I'll take you on as an apprentice, provided the other masters agree. If you guys recall, we saw an orc. We saw an orc when we were like in the forest next to the city, so the rumors are true. When can I start as your apprentice? Not before you've proven to me that you're good for something. Can I sign on as an apprentice with a different master? The other masters may well approve, but I will only give you my approval when you first prove that you're good for something. Do you sell weapons too? Forget it. Everything I make goes to the paladins or the militia. I have a commission for 100 swords from Lord Hagen. He wants to equip the city guard. Well, I guess that's nice of him, but still, do you know how long it takes to forge a hundred weapons? What do you want? I'm not giving anything away. I'm looking to become an apprentice. Really? And with whom are you going to sign up? Hmm. Let's say with him. People are more inclined when you say with them. I want to sign up with you as an apprentice. With me? No! I have already had the dubious pleasure once of grappling with an apprentice. That's quite enough for me. I invested several years in his education, and in the end, the poor fool up and poisoned himself. Go sign up with one of the other masters. What will I have to do to become your apprentice? <sighs> I couldn't bear yet another dilettante on my conscience. There is a multitude of herbs out there. Used in different variations, they develop the most diverse effects. You probably don't even know half of them. <sighs> Here. This is a list of the most important plants. Bring me a plant of each kind, and I might reconsider taking you in as an apprentice. About the plants... If you cannot handle that by yourself, you won't be any good as an alchemist either. I see. I'm in need of healing. Why? Are you injured? Yes. 
There's barely a scratch on you. And I have more important things to do than to talk to you. Why well, he got mad? Show me your wares. Huh. Okay, so some alchemy ingredients and some recipes, I guess. But so the reason why I said that I wanted to sign up with him as an apprentice is because when you tell him that you want to sign up with another master, he's just like, oh well, fine, I don't care what you do. But then you kind of miss out on the quest for the plants, and the quest for the plants actually spawns those plants so in your vicinity. That he came across the land and chose the beast and belly up. So we needed the blessing of this guy and then the blessing of a priest of Enos. So let's do that. I'm asking your blessing. Why should I give you my blessing, stranger? I want to start an apprenticeship with one of the masters in the lower part of town. Go with the blessing of Adonos, my son. Thank you. Where can I find a priest of Inos? The best thing would be to look around the marketplace. You will find an emissary of the monastery there. Well, he can also heal us, and he's not that mean about it. Now, the reason why we're doing this now is because we have six gold. And I think that's enough. That he just gives you the blessing? Or maybe I need like ten. I don't know yet. He can't keep anything to himself. What can I do for you? Are you seeking spiritual comfort? Do you want to direct a prayer to our Lord Enos? Or donate some gold for his church? care of everything for everybody. Who says I've come to get your blessing. That's good. That's good. Then you will probably want to donate gold to the Holy Church of Enos, won't you? Actually, I wanted your blessing so I can sign on as an apprentice in the lower part of town. But my son, without a modest donation to the church, it is impossible for me to bless you. How else can I be certain of your good intentions toward the Holy Church of Enos? That's not what my husband thinks. And that's uh, really, how an interesting theory. So, how much does a donation usually run to here? Well, that depends on what percentage you want to give, son. That's gonna get you Let me see how much you brought. You're a poor soul, ain't you? That's what I've always said. Keep the little you have. That's what I've always said. Did I still get the blessing, though? Honestly, I witnessed it myself. I don't know. I need to talk to the paladins. Can you help me get to them? Well, you need access to the upper end of town. However, this is allowed only to citizens and the city guard. And of course, to us magicians of fire. How can I become a fire magician? You must join our order as a novice. When you have served for a time, perhaps you will be accepted into the ranks of the magicians. However, the path to acceptance is long and full of work and study. That's an open secret. That's an open Well, where do you come from? Where do you come from? I come from the monastery of the magicians, which lies in the mountains. We accept everyone there who is pure of heart and feels the desire to serve our almighty Lord Inos. But that's terrible. Tell me about Inos. Inos, our almighty Lord, is the light and the fire. He chooses humans to be his tool, giving them magic and laws. We act in his name. We administer justice according to his will and preach his word. Now that's typical, isn't it? Tell me more about the monastery. We instruct our students in all forms of magic. But the arts of the Magicians of Fire consist of more than these alone. We are also well versed in the art of alchemy and in the creation of powerful runes. <laughs> we also make excellent wine. That is a perk. What are you doing in town? 
I have discussions with the paladins and support the citizens with my advice and with helpful words. Particularly in these difficult times, it is our duty to be there for the people and to help the poor. He'd better shut up. <laughs> but I am poor. I am poor. So, you are impoverished. No I wonder in these times. Anymore. Take this gold. It should help That's you. But you should look for work. Then you will see how That's quickly gold comes said. to you. And then you may give to the Church of Innos as she has given to you. Nice. Terrible. Now, there is a little thing you can Don't do where you anymore. give donations. But I, I'm pretty sure you need to have about a thousand gold for that. So we're gonna have to wait for that. You don't have to tell me that. So let's go tell the but he knows, beheld what Beliar had done. The carpenter? The good news, I think. I hope. That's way too many quests. Wait, he's hammering, okay. Hey, you! How about your approval, Master? Has Vatras given you his blessing? Yes. And did you also get the blessing of a priest of Inos? No, not yet. You know my terms. You should only ply your trade with the blessing of the gods. Okay. So that did not count. Let's go back to him, see if we can donate like a little baby bit and if he will bless us for it. But he will he will look in your money pound. Spake Adonis to his brothers, never again shall you He will look in your money pouch and then decide how much you're supposed to give, whereas now we can just choose how much we give, I think. That's what I've always said. That's what I've always said. I want to make a donation. Oh. That's not what my But I didn't bring enough gold. That doesn't matter, my son. You can also donate as much as you want later. He can't keep anything to himself. Let's see. I hope that didn't ruin it. I hope if you give him gold, that is fine. That's not what my husband thinks. There we go. You don't say. So you want to have, I think, at least ten I can't take on you. For everybody. I want to make a donation. Who says things like that? I bless you in the name of Inos, for he is light and righteousness. You don't say. Okay, so that counted, because he said I bless you. And he works all day too. Hey. Don't tell her a thing from now. It's the pirate dude. Hey, you. But that's terrible. One more thing. Listen, kid, I've got Thank important you, things so. to do right now. We'll talk again Honestly, later, got it? I witnessed it myself. Oh, he's not happy. Okay. These are bad times. Things I could tell you. Don't say you didn't know that. But Adonis saw that order and chaos were now unequal, and he bade Enos to take his divine power from the human. Master Thorben, I think we have all the blessings you require of us, sir. Hey! Nobody will learn anything from me. How about your approval, Master? Has Vatras given you his blessing? Yes. And did you also get the blessing of a priest of Inos? Yes, I did. Then you shall have my blessing as well. No matter what path you decide to take, take pride in doing a good job my boy and with that leveling us up we can teach how to pick locks teach me how to pick a lock well learn. all you need is a lock pick if you move it carefully left and right in the lock you can unbolt the mechanism but if you move it too much or too fast in the wrong direction it will snap right off the more adept you become the fewer lock picks you are going to need that's all there is to it really Okay, great. Do we remember this dude being here? Hey, you're new in town, huh? Yes, and what about you? I've come from the mainland, and now I'm hanging around here. I'm almost out of gold, so all I can do now is join the militia, I guess. But I don't want to do that. 
I won't be slaughtered by those orcs on the king's behalf. He doesn't see that. I can't help it. What can you tell me about the militia? One of the paladins has taken command. A certain Lord Andre. He's trying to mobilize half the city in case the orcs attack. But you need to be a citizen of the town in order to be admitted. As far as I know, if you're not a citizen, you can train anyway. But you won't be officially admitted. Okay. What else can you tell me about Lord Andre? He has taken over the position of judge as well. If you cause any trouble in this town, you're gonna have to answer to him. I was once in a brawl with a citizen. He went crying to Lord Andre and ratted me out. That little matter cost me 50 gold pieces. I was lucky that it happened at night, or others would have witnessed it. The more people complain about you in this town, the higher your penalty will be. That feels like a hint. Who did you fight with? With a fellow named Valentino. He often hangs out in the tavern near the temple. I'm not usually a violent person, but that guy needed his face rearranged in the worst way. Got my own opinion about Has anything exciting happened? You could say that. They robbed Bosper the Bowmaker. What a brazen thing to do, I tell you. The fellow just ambled into the shop in broad daylight and grabbed himself a bow. And Bosper right after him, hollering, Stop right there, you rogue! But the thief was too fast. Don't tell me you didn't know that. I think we already picked up on something like that he was robbed. Okay, so we need an orc weapon for him. We got his blessing. We need six wolf skins for the other dude, so that's all outside. And we need plants for this guy, which is also outside. Oh, and Mateo we also covered. Who are you? How strange. It seems to me that I have met you before, traveler. Well... Great are the mysteries of time and space. Oh, please forgive my rudeness, son of patience. I have not even greeted you yet. Welcome, friend. Take a seat on my humble rugs and enjoy a pipe in peace. Who are you? My name is Abu Jin ibn Jadir ibn Omar Khalid ben Haji al Sharidi. I am a seer and a prophet. An astrologer and a purveyor of tobacco. He sounds like a hashishin, which is a uh, a faction in Gothic Three. What kind of tobacco do you offer? My pipes are filled with spicy, refreshing apple tobacco. Help yourself whenever you want, son of adventure. Do you have other tobacco as well? I offer only the very best tobacco. This apple plant is a symphony from my homeland, the Southern Isles. But, of course, I'm always open to trying a different sort of tobacco. If somebody should succeed in producing a really good tobacco... How's that done? Start with my apple tobacco as a basis, and then try combining it with another ingredient. This is done at an alchemist's bench, provided you know the essentials of alchemy. I don't know if we do. Where can I get apple tobacco? I shall give you two portions. It is up to you, in your wisdom, to do with them whatever you want. If you crave more, then direct your steps toward Zuris, the master of potions. He produces this tobacco, and he sells it too. Can you make me a prophecy? My services are yours for a modest fee. Oh, father of generosity. How much do you want? For a poultry, 25 coins. I shall risk a glance through time for you. But remember, the future is always uncertain. All I can do is glimpse some fragments of time. Well... Here oh, we do have enough. Let's do it. By the explicit order of the Tell me about the future. Ending. All right, seeker of knowledge. I shall now enter a state of trance. The forest and wilderness are you ready? near the city are to be avoided for your own protection. 
corpse. They are guarding an entry, an old tunnel, the Valley of Mines, men in shining armor, a magician. Your friend is with them. He is waiting for you. Fire! An attack! A mighty creature. The flames, many shall die. What is that? A city. Ruins. Quarhodron in Jarkandar. He is summoned. Quarhodron in Jarkandar. I'm sorry. The vision is over. There's nothing more I can see. That was pretty impressive. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. Hey, the you. Explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, How's the it going? You're not from around here, are you? Never mind. Martial Neither am I. Where did you hang around before? In, in the woods, hunting scavengers and wolves together with some hunters. But I gave it up. The These are dangerous times. There's a lot of riffraff running around the out there. Lord Andre is commanded to punish every Where can I find the other hunters? We had our camp outside near the tavern, halfway to Onar's farm. But I don't know whether there's anyone left in the camp now. There used to be to two of us Andre. here in town until a few days ago. My friend Trokar is an excellent hunter. Vosper said you used to work for him. Yes, I did, but he was only interested in his blasted hides. I told him how dangerous it's gotten out there. He didn't really listen to me. Well, anyway, he paid well. I can't complain about that. Can you tell me anything else about him? <laughs> Vosper had one of his bows stolen recently, in broad daylight. Some guy just waltzed into his store, took a bow, and left. The thieves are getting more and more brazen. That does take confidence. So, where is your friend Trokar now? Well, it's a curious story. Only a few days ago, we were both standing at the bar in Corrigan's Tavern, discussing the hunt. Don't ask me what happened next. I had had a few by then. I vaguely remember Trokar saying that he was going out to get a few swamp weed reefers. He never came back. Okay. Where does one get swamp weed reefers? Somewhere down at the harbor as far as I know. How did I even get their hands on it? Didn't you go looking for him? No, but I reported it to the militia. But they haven't been able to find him yet. I hope he didn't get attacked by a wolf, or worse. I'm afraid that I'll stumble over his body someday when I'm out hunting. I don't think I could bear that. <laughs> then why do you laugh? Can you teach me something about hunting? I can teach you how to sneak properly and how to handle a bow. I don't think we have the luring point spare right now. Why don't we go hunting together? Hmm. With two, it isn't so dangerous, that's true. Do you know anything about hunting then? I mean, do you know how to skin an animal? Yes. All right, but I want to see 50 gold pieces. For that, you can keep the skins and sell them to Busper. That's a fair deal, isn't it? It is, but we don't have the money. Later. Okay, thank you. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. Hey, come By closer. The explicit order of the Take Honorable a break Lord and have Hagen, a sip of cool beer. Lord Andre is, is springing for enacted. a few barrels of free beer. Martial law is immediately declared. All civilian judges so you're giving are to away hand to me? over the The Honorable Lord Andre is command every inhabitant of Corinus who is guilty. Okay, he shushed. Okay, let's talk to these people. Hey, what's up? We, uh, as long as the paladins don't have any new assignments for me, I, I can have myself a couple of beers here. <laughs> what more could you ask? You're working for the paladins? Well, yeah, I, I report to them on the situation in the city. At the moment, everything is quiet. How are things with the orcs? 
No reason to worry. We in the City Guard and the Paladins have everything under control. Go home and let us do our work. We're watching over the town and its citizens. Oh. Would you like another beer? <sighs> mm, there's nothing better than a cool ale. It's a good thing we just picked up all that beer. You were about to say something about the orcs. Oh yeah, yeah, right. The orcs are absolutely no threat to the city. They're stuck in the uh, Valley of Mines, and, and the pass is, is held by the Paladins. <laughs> Not even a meat bug could get through there. <laughs> Would you like another beer? Well, I won't say no to a decent pint. I don't know if this is going to get us anywhere, but... They've even spotted an orc outside of town. Yeah. Right. The dangerous orc outside the city. A real monster of an orc. Well, he's bound to attack the city soon. Listen, we'll kick that fat orc in his fat ass if he comes too close to the city. <sighs> Got it? I see. I think I think that's going to be it. Hey. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. What are By you doing here? Order I'm a novice from the Hagen, monastery. The following I run errands for the magicians enacted. and also the paladins. The I have provided the three innkeepers in the city with the city wine from the monastery. Accordingly. Everyone is to Who begin are the training three innkeepers? The of One of them is the good man here behind the bar. Then there is Kerrigan, who has his tavern on the Temple Square, and Cardiff, the owner of the tavern in the Harbor District. What can you tell me about the monastery? We novices seek enlightenment in prayer to Innos and learn the principles of faith from the magicians. We serve them as we serve Innos and prepare ourselves for the union with the fire. Well, that seems like a bad idea. So we're not going to do that just yet. If we plan on going to the monastery, we'll try the option. For all we know, he doesn't even bring us, but in case he does, I don't wanna, you know, mess that up. You still owe me a favor. It is time to pay your debt. What do you want? I want my old stall in the marketplace back. Sarah snatched it away from me, but she has had that spot long enough. I want her to give up the stall. And what's my part in this? I will give you a letter to stick in her pocket. Then you go to Andre and tell him that Sarah is selling weapons to Onar. She lands in prison, you pocket the bounty, and I get the stall. You have two days to accomplish this. But that would be lying. What will happen if I refuse to do that? That would be truly stupid of you. Because you see, I know that you're an escaped convict. If that gets around, it could do considerable harm to your situation in the city. He can't keep anything to himself. Someone's got to do the work. He simply talks hmm. too much. Really? All right, looks like I've got no choice. You're a clever lad. Here is the letter. How am I supposed to foist the letter on her? Let her show you her wares. And while she does, you hide the letter on her. And bear in mind, I am an influential man in the city. So don't try to play me for a fool. I wouldn't dare to. I've got to go. Suit yourself. That's what I've always said. You don't say. Who's just standing here very ominously? My husband thinks. That's not what I How's business? That's not what I when the paladins came, I first thought that it was a good business opportunity. But they let Herod make their weapons, and neither Hakka nor I make even one gold piece off them. Moreover, the farmers no longer supply us with food, and all the prices have gone up. It's only a small consolation that the paladins are paying my hotel bill. What's the problem with the farmers? They refuse to deliver their goods. Now that the ships no longer come in, the city depends entirely on the supplies provided by the farmers, of course. And Onar, the largest farmer, has hired mercenaries to protect his farm from the city guards. Otherwise, they'd simply snatch the goods for themselves. But the mercenaries don't just guard Onar's farm. They come as far as the small farms outside of town to intimidate the farmers. I saw them as I was passing Akil's farm. 
I wouldn't like to be in his shoes now. I don't believe that. But that's terrible. Where will I find Akil's farm? If you go out of the east gate here and follow the road to the right, you'll come to a stairway. It leads up to Akil's farm. But I wouldn't go there now. The mercenaries are certainly still there. That's what I've always said. Okay. Show me your wares. She simply talks too much. I won't tell her a thing from now on. That's not what I heard. A bunch of weapons. Someone's got to do the work. Really? All strength. Honestly, I witnessed it myself. Well, she has a rapier, but we already have that one. I won't one. tell her a thing from now on. Really? How interesting. Yeah, yeah pretty much all strength. All too. He can't keep anything to himself. That's Except that one. But we have that one. So. I can't take care of everything for everybody. Honestly, I witnessed it myself. That's an open secret. I don't believe that. We already talked to the priest of Enos. Enos be with you, stranger. If you're looking for a good selection for the traveler, then you're in the right place. But I'm warning you, if you're planning on helping yourself without paying, I'll call the city guard. Just a moment. Do I look like a thief? Bah! You won't be the first one to make off with my things today. That's what I've always said. Somebody stole from you. I can't prove it. The fellow was damn clever. Introduced himself as Ringaroo. If that really is his right name. He's been hanging around the marketplace the last few days. And every evening he gets plastered at the beer stand down the street. I bet the bastard is drinking my money. I only looked away for a moment and my purse was gone. I think that's the dude that we just saw standing at the pole, sir. He's right there. I could get your gold back for you. Oh, and why would you do that? He had better shut up. Well, that depends. Can you help me get into the upper quarter? <laughs> You've got the wrong man. I'm from out of town like most of the merchants in the marketplace. If you want to get into the upper quarter, go talk to the resident merchants in the lower part of town. I want part of the gold as a reward. First see if you can get my purse back. Then we'll talk about your reward. Why didn't you call the city guard? The guards only respond if a thief is caught in the act. And when I noticed my purse was missing, the bastard was already gone. Because he's a smooth criminal. Really? How, How much gold was in that purse? Fifty gold pieces. That's quite a lot in these crappy times. You don't say. I'll see what I can do. Be careful. If you just knock the bastard down, the city guard will get involved. Lately, things have been getting really tough here. Since the paladins came to town, the guards have been cracking down on brawlers. So think of something. I shall. Well, you sell. Show me your wares. Basically, all of them have arrows. Don't tell this to anyone. That's not what my husband has. What kind of weather is this? I am Hacken, the weapons dealer. Every man should carry a weapon these days, especially when venturing outside of the city walls. Tell me more about the area around the city. It's gotten too dangerous out there, because of the bandits, for one thing, and also on account of wild beasts. Even the animals don't seem to get enough to eat in these crappy times. They're venturing closer to the city all the time. Do you know anything about the paladins? Yes. Those guys are ruining my business. All you can buy in this entire town is a short sword at most. They've helped themselves to anything that's longer than a foot and a half. In return, I now get to live in the hotel free of charge. <laughs> and it's gonna get even worse. Where do you get your weapons from? Harad the Smith has been my supplier up to now. Now all he does is make stuff for the paladins. He works for those guys day and night like a madman. Without pay. He thinks it's his duty. All I can offer you now is my remaining stock. What do you know about the disappearances of the citizens of Corinus? I have seen many pass through the eastern city gate. Some of those who came, I had never seen before in my life. And many of those who went out, never came back. But what happened the other day was really quite strange. There was this fellow who came here. I think his name is Joe. He bragged that he would soon come into some serious money. He claimed that he knew how to get into one of the city towers where the militia keep their arms. I haven't seen him since. 
even though I used to bump into him around the same time every day. I reported this to the militia. I thought that maybe he had been caught and thrown into the dungeon, but Lord Andre had no idea what I was talking about. He didn't even know the fella. What do you know about the bandits? What do I know about them? They robbed me on my way to the city, and I'm not the only one. They've been up to their tricks for quite a while. The militia tried to track them down, but without any success. That's not what I heard. Do you know who in the militia took part in the search? The fellow's name is Pablo. He and a few others went looking for the bandits, but they didn't find them. Do you know where I can find Pablo? He patrols around the city. You'll find him either at the Temple Square or in the lower part of town. We know Pablo, he's the one that stopped us and was like, is this your face on this piece of paper I'm holding? Where did they hold you up? Near Akil's farm. Just go out of the city gate from here. Follow the road to the right. After a while, you'll get to a few steps. The bastards came from there. I bet they have their hideout back there in the woods. I'll deal with it. What? You want to take on the bandits? By yourself? You're quite a good fighter, huh? How much is the matter worth to you? That's a dangerous business. Well, it's all right with me. I'll pay you 100 gold pieces if you defeat the bandits. Sounds like a plan. Show me your wares. What do you have? Militia belt, letter belt. Huh, interesting. So matching belts for the outfits. I'm Zurus, master of potions. Do you need an essence of healing or a magic elixir? Then you've come to the right place. Do you brew your own potions? No, I either get them from the monastery or I buy them from Constantino, the alchemist. If you're interested in brewing potions, then talk to him. He needs an assistant, but he's too pig-headed to hire someone himself. He's just as stubborn as a mule. He always passes me when he goes out on the East Gate to collect plants for his potions. Where exactly does Constantino gather his herbs? He always goes through the Eastern City Gate here and then disappears into the wilderness to the left. He once told me that just about everything grows there, except for King Sorrel. Has Constantino ever told you where to find King Sorrel? I once heard him say that the stuff grows near stone circles, near Lobart's farm. That's a farm near the other gate. There's one of those stone circles. I think it's on a hill. It used to be a grave or something. Show me your wares. Oh, nice. So anything magical, we need to come to Zorus. Magic defense. Oh, look at this. That's also a nice one. We have money for none of them, though. Welcome, stranger. My name is Baltrop. Have you come to stock up on food? I'm afraid I'll have to disappoint you. I don't have much in stock right now, but I'll be getting a new delivery soon. Have you got a job for me? No, I already have an errand boy. Try the other merchants. Well, what do you sell? Food? Show me your wares. Yes, food. Okay. Fair enough. I think we've almost done the entirety of the upper quarter. But apparently we have to talk to Pablo again. There, where Adonis stood, was a place in which Enos and Beliar had no power. Can I get a drink here? If you have gold, you can even eat here if you like. We can eat here? Awesome. And how's business going? Ah, don't remind me. Lord Andre is serving free beer at the Gallows Square. Hardly anybody comes here now. Except for the rich people from the upper quarter. What's wrong with them? Yeah, <laughs> some of those swells could really get on your nerves. Take that uh, Valentino, for instance. 
I can't stand the sight of him. But I can't pick my customers. I need every coin I can make. What little I had managed to save has been stolen, along with all my silver. You've been robbed? Yep, some time ago. It was still rather crowded that night, and uh, I was doing the round serving beer. I wasn't gone long from behind the counter, but it was long enough for those bastards. I went to see the militia about it, but they couldn't find a thing, of course. Yeah, yeah. They prefer to get plastered on free beer. Okay. Tell me about the missing townspeople. I heard that a lot of them went missing down by the harbor. Small wonder with all that's going on down there. Even Thorben, the carpenter in the lower part of town, has lost his apprentice. Hakon, uh, one of the merchants in the marketplace, had an especially strange tale to tell. He said that there was this fella that he used to bump into every day, and then suddenly he vanished off the face of the earth. He even went to see the militia about it. Townspeople all pretty much panicked after that. I don't know what to make of it. I, I think it's all nonsense. Corinus is a rough city, and many dangers lurk outside her gates. Those who don't stay within the city walls will be attacked by bandits or eaten by wild animals. Yeah, it's that simple. But it's dark. What is it with this Valentino? Yeah, he's filthy rich and has no need to work. And he brags about it to everybody, whether you want to hear it or not. He drinks a lot and always stays until the end. And then early in the morning, he totters back to the upper quarter. It's the same every day. Good to know. What do I have to do to get into the upper quarter? Well, you need to be a citizen of the town. Uh, uh, go find some work. Preferably with a craftsman in the lower part of town. Uh, yeah, uh, that'd make you a citizen. Well, uh, and if that's still not enough, go talk to Lord Andre at the barracks. Maybe he'll let you join the city guard. They can go into the upper quarter, too. Yeah. We got all that stuff uh, explained to us with um, the paladin. Saying how the militia and citizens of the town are allowed up. But I think only the militia was allowed to come near Lord Hagen, if I'm not mistaken. And oh, so he bade Spaltino. Enos hey. to leave a part of his power in his well, realm what are we so here? that he might restore have it to the you human. No manners? The beast That's should return. disgusting. Oh, is this filthy rabble. Haven't Had you a Enos job where you ought to be? His but I suppose no one would miss so. a down at heel fellow like you, hey? Well, if you had as much gold as I do, you wouldn't have to work either. But you'll never be that rich. I but see I'm gonna have lots of fun with you. For and all that Enos created well, he's extremely rude. I understand why I didn't like him. But Adonis saw that this way... Nothing could exist but we're not going to provoke him with so no many witnesses. And no darkness. So let's see, the plants. Because starting so he set himself between his brothers downstairs with the harbor district. I feel like I'm going to keep that for next episode. But we can already venture out a little bit. We have one gold. It's kind of sad. Hey, hey, not so fast. Strolling about alone out here is dangerous. Where do you come from? From the city. Well, well. Then what are you doing wandering around out here, so far from the protective walls of the city? Hunting. What's so dangerous out here? Many things. I bet you'll be yelling for my help after the next bend in the road. Probably. Just assuming I would fall back on your help, uh, how much would that cost me? I am merely a humble servant of the king, and would not enjoy fleecing a helpless little citizen of the realm. But you know, if you put it like that, I wouldn't object to a little financial backing to promote our future business relationship. Ten gold coins should do for starters. What do you think? I think I'm gonna have to come back, because I don't have I'll ten gold. I'll think about it. 
Suit yourself. Have a nice death. Wow, that's kind of rude, actually. Oh, they're adults, though. It's the first time we saved this episode. It's not a good habit. Am I gonna be able to get you? Cause you're you guys are full grown. All right. So much for you, filthy beast. Another right. one of those things. So much for you, filthy beast. Nothing to be had there. Okay, that wasn't horrible. But it wasn't great either. And it's becoming dark again. Okay, fire and all. I think getting the roots. Fire nettle, fire weed, fire root. So that's all the mana ones. And then a healing plant. We actually never checked. What do we need? We're gonna read this too. Last warning, I've already reminded you several times in the friendliest terms that I urgently require the weapons I ordered from you a week ago. If I don't hear from you very soon, Sarah, I will be forced to change my attitude to you. I hope we understand each other, Onar. Oh wait, wait a second. He's trying to make it look like she's trading weapons with Onar, the landowner, who the militia is in a pickle with? Oh, that's just mean. Okay, list of herbs. We need all of the healing types, all of the fire types, goblinberry, dragon root, snapper weed, meadow knotweed, and king sorrel. Let a potential apprentice fetch these plants for you. That way you'll know if he's any good. Regards, Surus. <laughs> he did say that he needed to, like, entice him. A pass. Was this the wanted note? Our nose is funky. But do they ever get the nose right? Let's see? Pass of Corinus. This document entitles the bearer to move freely in the lower areas of Corinus for an unlimited time period. Larius, the king's governor. Oh, see, I was wondering if we could use the pass to get into the upper quarter, but I guess that kind of answers my question. Okay, so we have all the fires, we have the meadow knotweed, and we have the... Um, You guys know what I'm trying to say. Dragon root? Yeah, dragon root. We're just throwing away all our arrows. They do have meat though. But why is it becoming dark again? I should check if there's any way for me to see what time of day it is. Let's see. 8 p.m. Well, I guess we're going to have to finish this some other time. Because we're not going to be able to find the plants in the dark. Well, technically, I don't have to still pick all the plants. Because I have some of them. We have a snapper weed. And we have meadow berry. Healing root. And we have a goblin berry. Healing plant, healing herb, healing root. Yeah, I think except for the King Sorrel, we might actually have everything. Nothing to be had there. And they already disclaimed to us that the King Sorrel grows on the other side. It's a mole rat. Oh my. This is gonna end bad. Do you have friends? Yes, you do. Okay. Nothing to plunder. I don't know how many arrows I still have. Okay, 
here we go smooth blue elder healing plant we haven't found the goblin berries around here though not yet it's one of those Big, big mushrooms that give us so much health. This is what you get with these old games. I saw something move, but apparently I did not. What's that shimmer? What's over there? We'll go check it out. Once we've healed up. Okay, can I have this out? Got the rat, but the meat bug still is a big no-no. Oh, there's people though. We might want to wait with this. So we have to remember that this is here. When we feel a little bit more confident about our situation, but I'm pretty sure that they can just one potentially two shot us. See if I missed any plants on this little end though. Because I have no clue with the yeah, there are the goblin berries. So I'm trying to think, did we find the snapper weed? If we did, we found everything that's on this side at least once. But we can comb it out again when we come back some other time. And we need to get our hands on 10 gold pieces. For Micah or Mika. Or whatever the ways you pronounce his name. I can see how Mika is a thing. Considering the origins of this game. So we need to sleep. So I shouldn't have eaten all that stuff. But it's okay. Let's go to bed. Sleep till the morning. Beautiful. Yeah, it is Ranguru. Hey. I won't tell her. Jora says you've got his money. Damn it. I'm out of here. Don't tell me that. What? No. Don't tell this. Come back. We're slow. Oh, apparently we can go even slower. Hello, sir. Gotcha. Hey, 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 what do you want from me? Huh? You stole from Jora in broad daylight, and he even saw you do it. So I've come to tell you that you're a lousy thief, and that... And now, you tell me who you are. I'm nothing but a poor wretch, trying to make ends meet one way or another. Well, what else can I do? I can't find a job in town. All right, I see. Spare me your whining. Why do we agree with him? You had better hand over Jorah's gold now. <sighs> Here's the dough, man! But now let me go! I'll never do it again! 
I should turn you into the militia. What else do you want? I've got nothing left. Let me go, man! Sounds enticing. Why would I want to do that? In the city, it's always good to know the right people and to stay on their good side. I could put in a good word for you. I, I can't and won't say more. The rest is up to you. Okay. Well, we're just gonna let him go. Get lost and don't show your face around here again. Oh, you won't regret this. Thanks, man. You're welcome. So now we can go, go give him his gold back before, you know, we accidentally spend it. Because that does sound like all us. All cities and regions of the realm. All civilian judges are to hand over their duties to the royal paladins effective immediately. The honorable Lord Andre is commanded to punish every crime or act of... So I'm thinking I'm sitting here like after two days, does he really get angry? He works all day, the vendor that wants to stall? Because that'd be evil. About the thief. Yes, how's it going? Have you caught him? And much more importantly, do you have my gold? Go away, don't tell me that. He got away from me. And what about my gold? Did he get away with it? If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Here's the 50 gold pieces he stole from you. Inos be praised. There is still justice in the city. That's not what my husband thinks. I want part of the gold as a reward. If it's gold you want, then hunt down the thieves and collect the bounty from Lord Andre. Now, I must get back to my customers. And he works well, he was done talking fast the second I mentioned money. Go away. Don't tell me that. That's it? Yeah, that's it, I guess. That's terrible. In that that's case, I hope you guys had a great time. Next time, we go into the harbor part of the town and we're gonna do the same thing over there so we have all possible quests and then we're gonna figure out a way to like if I hadn't slowly it, start finishing eyes. them off so like i said hope you had a great time and i will see you next time That's on the scratching secret. post